What is going on guys, Marcus here with the Reformation Woodshop and today I am very excited to introduce to you the Xtool P2S. This is the official debut of the Xtool P2S. This is a 55 watt CO2 laser and if you know anything about the Xtool line you'll know that the P2 is one of the most award winning lasers of its kind. It is the best of the best. The P2S is better. It takes everything that was great about the P2 and improves on it. In this video, I'm going to show you everything that this laser can do, what makes it different from its predecessor, all the accessories that go with it that make it an absolute business powerhouse, and everything else you might possibly need to know about the P2S. Hi, Wilbur. welcome to the Reformation Woodshop. When your P2S arrives, just make sure that you've got enough space in your shop to set it up because there are a lot of boxes. And there's even stuff on the inside of your laser, so make sure to check in there. I won't bore you with all the details, but to summarize setup, you gotta put the P2 riser base together, you gotta stack the P2 on top of that bad boy, and make sure you have somebody to help you. This guy is 99 pounds. You're gonna need a partner. Take all your cute safety stickers off and get ready to engrave. But first, before you do that, the only thing that I really wasn't familiar with in this process was filling this machine full of antifreeze. Your ratio for antifreeze to water will depend on where you live. You need to look that up, but it goes based on your lowest annual temperature. I did all of my measurements properly and filled this guy. After I filled it and put everything back on, it didn't blow up, so I guess we're good. One of the new things with this laser is that you can manually calibrate your optical path. If you take a look at this engraving that I did here, you can see that it's kind of blurry and it didn't cut through. The Xtool software will take you step by step into how to calibrate each mirror. And it's very simple. It basically comes down to tightening a few screws. That's where the new laser path will be and not right there, right on the edge, making things a little blurry. Obviously you gotta test it after you calibrate. I ran the exact same engraving. This was before fixing the optical path. This is 40% power, 16% speed. This is after, this is 40% power, 16% speed. So it's identical except the laser actually does its job when you calibrate it right. All right, so we've gotten past everything that it takes to set this guy up. Let's talk about the specs. This laser runs at 600 millimeters per second. It's got a dual HD camera. One of those cameras is specific to view the entire laser bed and the other one is more calculated and specific viewing what you're doing with your project. The system is very advanced and it actually has a lot of different ways to engrave. You obviously can engrave flat surfaces, but you can also use your rotary attachment to engrave cylindrical surfaces. You can do several different types of curved material, and the P2S is perfect for batching material. If you have a ton of items to do, you can lay all of them down on your bed and knock them all out at the exact same time. It's got a digital readout right on top that has a bar that tells you how much time is left in your job, if your lid is locked, how you're connected to the program, and the temperature of the machine. Its bed size is 26 inches by 14 inches and it is the most powerful desktop CO2 laser cutter that exists at 55 watts. This is actually the first CO2 laser that I've ever had in my shop and all the other lasers that I had before were diode. CO2 lasers have ultra high absorption efficiency and the Xtool P2S can cut 3 millimeter basswood at the speed of 35 millimeters per second which is 6 times faster than the 20 watt diode laser and 3 times faster than a 40 watt diode laser which is the second most power that Xtool has in their line with the S1. So say you've got the P2 and you're wondering, why do I want the P2S if I've already got its sister unit? Let me just explain to you what they've done to make this system way better. The P2S's bed size, working space, and laser power are all the same as the P2, and both of the laser's max working speed is 600 millimeters per second, but the X-axis acceleration on the P2S is almost twice as fast. One of the biggest improvements that they made on the P2S is the air assist system. The P2 ran on a single cylinder system, while the P2S has a double cylinder system, which makes for cleaner cuts. And speaking of double, the P2S's exhaust fan is now a dual blade exhaust, which takes the RPMs from the P2 from 7,000 all the way up to 14,000 with the P2S. And that's the quickness and power at which the smoke is leaving your shop. Can you hear the air exhaust? Coming from the P2S, it's so loud because it's so powerful. The P2S has a quick release fan button, the P2 does not. The P2S has a magnetic filter screen, the P2 does not. And remember, I just wanna remind you, 
The P2 is the best desktop laser on the market. It just got upgraded even more. In regards to safety, the X12 is top tier, which is one of the most important things that you could look for in a laser. The machine's lid automatically keeps locked during use, which is really good if you got kids running around. The P2S has a built-in emergency stop button on the side, which is quick for shutdown in case of emergency like fire. And speaking of fire, this system has AI fire detection. In the past with other lasers, sometimes the sensors inside of them identified sunlight as fire, which caused your system to shut down. This laser will not do that. It is a fully enclosed design, which means it's at the top of the pile when it comes to safety. There is no need to worry about light or smoke leakage. And you don't have to wear safety glasses while you're running it, which is awesome. Because I always forget. Oh. If you buy the P2S, you get more muscular or less, depending on how, never mind. I'm, I'm strong. I've said in the past, this channel is for doers and not viewers. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use the P2 to engrave every single material that it can possibly engrave. The X-Tool is perfect for my specialty and that is wood because this, at the end of the day, is a wood shop. Pine oak, maple birch, walnut, cherry, plywood, and basswood. Whatever you can throw in there, this guy will cut and engrave. When it comes to wood, it can cut at 18 millimeters and that's hard, solid woods. The most important features that everybody wants to do and everybody asks if their diode laser can do is acrylic. And in some cases, the answer is yes. But for black and clear and some of the other colors of the rainbow, Diode lasers can't pick up on that because it's a light thing. CO2 lasers can get the job done. All right, baby, we are doing clear acrylic. Let's get this party started. So of course, on the first clear acrylic project, we gotta include some Batman. I cut off this puck because I have a really cool idea for a nightlight in the future, and I think it turned out really cool. And because my wife is way more artistic than I am, her first project was making these cutesy little plant tags. After that, my wife went straight into the black acrylic and made this awesome Halloween sign for our front door. Don't tell anyone this, but my wife has actually used the P2 more than I have, and one specific job she just did recently was cut fabric for a t-shirt she was making. So yes, you can even take this powerful CO2 laser and make it do fine detailed stuff. All right, here's the ultimate test. This is hide bond adhesive and leatherette. I have used this material on every single laser that I've had in this shop. And this brand new laser is not gonna be any different, but I wanna see how much faster and crispier a CO2 laser can do that. I am absolutely thrilled about how these patches came out. If you're interested in Hydebond, I'm gonna leave a link in the description like I do in every video. I stand behind this product. I have used some bad leatherette and leather, and I don't want you to make those same mistakes. Let's get better leather right here. Because I wanted to show that this really powerful laser can do really delicate work, I took this piece of cardstock and made a cute Christmas invitation, and now I'll never go to Office Depot again. Look at that crisp, clean detail. Well, the P2S can't cut metal or glass it can surely engrave on it for stainless steel you'll need to spray a coating on it before marking but after you do that it looks great so basically if you're looking to switch up to the p2s for the sake of materials what i'm trying to say is do it it's worth it let's talk about the accessories that the p2s has obviously it comes standard with the honeycomb panel you need that if you're going to be cutting anything you also want to get the riser base for the p2s because it makes it so that you have more laser engraving height which is really useful and if you do get the riser base, you might as well get the automatic conveyor feeder because it makes it so the materials can pass through your laser up to 118 inches of engraving area. The X-Tool P2S is compatible with the standard X-Tool accessories like your RA2 Pro for engraving tumblers or round surfaces, the fire safety set which shuts down any fire extremely quick, and the X-Tool smoke purifier which is a beefy system to clean the air that you're pushing out of your machine if you're working in your house. But X-Tool is an all-around great company that continues to improve on what they have including their software. I think the the XCS program is pristine and perfect for what I need. Inside of their software, you can use AI to help you generate images if you're not feeling creative. On top of that, all of the tools that they have inside of their program to help you engrave what you're working on are fantastic and extremely approachable. You do not have to be really tech savvy to understand their software and to make awesome engravings and awesome projects. 
Listen, this was just an introductory video to the P2S. There is a lot for me to still dig in and dig through, but this will now be the main laser that I'm gonna be using in all of my videos that have to do with engraving things. So if you have any questions for me, leave them in the comment section down below and I will answer them in a future video or in the comment section. If you happen to want the P2S and you use my link that will be in the description below, I'll get a little bit of commission off of that and you'll be able to support the channel in that way. So. If you do that, you rule. And let me know that you did that in the comment section so that I can give you a big kiss right on the lips. All right. Thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next one. If you watched this video and thought to yourself, man, that was so good. How can I give this guy money to repay him? Then you're in luck. I have a lot of stuff listed on my Etsy store that you can buy to support the channel. So head on over to reformationwoodshop.etsy.com to grab something.